the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. So I was cruising around on X at about two in the morning like I always do, and the art of Satoshi posted the ASIC miner known as the entity is Dragon Ball. And I was like, what? Like <laughs> two in the morning, I just happened to you know catch this post on X. I follow the art of Satoshi. I met him at WDMS when he was trying to kind of dig around and find out who the entity was. So this is the announcement, guys. This is the entity that has been causing all the, the chaos since April. Um, it, it says spot sales are about to start. Simultaneous dual mining of Radiant at 3.2 terahash and Elysium at 1.2 terahash with a power consumption of only 2300 watts. So that is crazy. And I said, I didn't see that one coming. I thought they were going to do a formal announcement later this week. And um, or just, or Satoshi said they surprised even him. Um, they He was posting in uh, Radiance Discord and all of a sudden uh, he got this notification. So let's check out Radiance Discord real quick. I want to read more details here. Um, the announcement from the Radiant team here on their Discord it says, Dear Radiant Community, introducing the dual function ASIC miner. The new ASIC miner manufactured by Dragon Ball Miner is a powerhouse designed with versatility in mind, capable of mining both Radiant and Elysium at the same time. Here are the key details. I already told you guys the hash rate and the power consumption. The dual function ASIC miner is optimized for both Radiant and Elysium, offering incredible efficiency and power. With its cutting edge technology, it's set to revolutionize the mining landscape for both cryptocurrencies. So it is pretty crazy because we if you guys have been following this story about the entity it was able to mine it seemed like multiple different algorithms and switch between them if needed and um the other algorithms forked like kyla coin but radiant and lithium they did not fork they were wanting the asics on their network so now we know dragon ball was the entity all along if you want to order one of these it looks like You'll be able to purchase it directly from Dragon Ball Miner. Um, their link is in the Discord, and I'll leave the link in the description of this video, I guess. It is very surprising. I was not expecting Dragon Ball to be the one, you know, causing all this chaos this whole time. So I ran some numbers on hashrate.no, and I just had to, like, kind of do a custom calculator for Radiant because there is no ASICs on, like, Mind the ASIC or any of those other websites. So it's um, 3 million... 200,000 mega hash because right now this is being measured in mega hash on uh, hash rate down on O. And I put in power consumption 2300 watts just to account for all the power because I'm going to add both um, Alephium and Radiant together since this is a dual miner. So um, that way we just get like the profitability currently. So with that hash rate, power consumption 2300 watts, the revenue would be $124. Um, and then profits after um, power uh, is removed, $119. And then I just punched in the you know profitability for a lithium uh, 1200 giga hash, $11.57. So we're talking about $130 or so in profits. And that's with the dual mining on this thing and i don't know if it's going to be switchable or if this is just going to come with alethium and radiant um, we don't know all the details yet on this miner let's go ahead and check out dragon ball's website and see if there's any more information on the website but for now you can count on uh 1157 in profits from alethium um and then we're talking about 120 dollars in profits from Radiant daily. So that's 112,000 Radiant you're gonna be mining per day with this thing um, until all the other miners hit the network. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out Dragon Ball's website, see if there's any more details there. Okay, here we are on dragonballminer.com. I'll leave the link in the description, like I said. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out. Let's hit shop. There it is, Dragon Ball Miner A11. There's not much more detail so far on their website. There are pictures, but it kind of just looks like a generic ASIC. Um, let's read further. Tags, they've tagged it ALF, like three RXD. So nothing new there. And then let's see, yeah, 2300 watts plus or minus 10%. Approximate in China, pay attention to custom fees and tax policies. So these are kind of 
generic guidelines for transportation, procurement, warranties. Um, so there isn't a whole lot more detail on their website that I am seeing so far. So this is what we know so far. And uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, I was not expecting it to be Dragon Ball Miner, but anyway, let me know what you guys think about this miner. Um, would you consider getting one? Um, are you a little bit sour on the way Dragon Ball handled this whole situation with kind of dominating the hash rate uh, for so long on Radiant? Um, and it, apparently, I'm, I'm assuming this being the entity, it was probably affecting some of those other coins if this is a dual miner. I, I, I'm assuming that it was able to mine those other coins until they forked. So um, tell me what you guys think. Um, I know a lot of people have a uh, like a bad taste in their mouth from this. I had done another video just like a couple hours ago that I just po posted uh, speculating and, and talking about it. Uh, but now we know the entity was Dragon Ball Miner. So tell me what you think. You know, hit the like button if you like the video. I try to get it out as quick as I could because it's brand new news and it's pretty huge news. Um, I hope the video was helpful to you. If it was, like I said, hit the like button. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I got tons of crypto content. And in last but not least, don't forget to keep it decentralized, unlike Dragon Ball Miner did for the last five months. But keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.